and welcome to Nerdy Over 30, the podcast where we talk about movies, games, and everything pop culture. As always, I am Jonathan, and here with me is David. Yeah. Tolly's in Mexico doing his, uh, what, his... Drug uh, lording. Yeah, drug lording the, yeah. and his Mexican luchador wrestling. Yes. And we are going to stand by it. We're not going to say just kidding. No. Probably that, That's is. exactly what he's doing. Yeah. Exactly what he's doing. Because he better have had a good reason not to be here. Anyway. <laughs> So yeah, so we're back. We are always uh, at uh, Fool's Love Barbershop in Queens. Thank you again to Billy for letting us use this space sporadically as we do. Yes. And yeah, so what's been going on, David? Uh, just surviving. 2024, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so another, yeah. another freaking year. Um, how's everything with you? Same thing. We both have stressful jobs. <laughs> yeah, this is the fun part, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, we're trying to make this the fun part. part. But yeah. Um, but uh, what's been going on in the pop culture world? Let's talk about that. Uh, pop culture world. What has been going on? Uh, well, besides Marvel dying. Oh, dude. <laughs> you just. <laughs> so I actually forgot to mention this to you, but um, I saw Madame Web. Unfortunately, on you actually front. went to go. You actually went to go see I, it. <laughs> oh, dude. Because I'm a completionist. I feel like I'm already far too deep into Marvel. Yeah, but I feel like I have to see every. Yeah, but is that really a completionist? Because. It really I has know. nothing to do with our Marvel Cinematic Universe, that Sony's Spider-Man universe. Oh, dude. Yeah, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, maybe I'm just fucking, I'm weird. <laughs> and I'm just, I feel like I'm already, Sony already screwed me once. Why not screw me some more? You know, with, uh, what you call it, uh, Jared, uh, Jared Leto's oh, uh, uh, Morbius. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Morbius, yeah. And then you would think, and, and I heard the same writers from Morbius <laughs> and, and were the writers that did Madam Web. So you would think they would have learned after their first... And attempt, but they I doubled down. I should have knew better, but I kind of thought I did because I had I had a drink before I saw the movie. I went to go see it at the Alamo Draft House where they serve drinks. So I had a drink before I left, and then I had two drinks while I was in the movie, thinking maybe I'll enjoy it a little bit. And boy, and <laughs> as much as I like Dakota Johnson as an actress, I I, I already knew she was gonna be horrible in this. How, how how bad was the acting in this? Oh man, I I don't know, man. It just. <laughs> like, it started out like okay i guess you know mm-hmm. but it's just kind of i didn't know if i drank too much uh-huh. <laughs> like it just kind of was just random as shit and well, the way you you know about madam uh, madam web's abilities and yeah yeah, yeah, huh? yeah what do you know about it well that she's like kind of like the seer of all the other spider-mans and she can see into the future so, and exactly, stuff like that yeah. yeah but they have such a weird way of explaining it just random, like, she doesn't know, I get it, like, she's learning her powers, but she goes from, and I'm not going to spoil it, but whatever, if you, come on, you should know, if, if you know Marvel, but, um, she goes into this, you know, learning her abilities, mm-hmm. seeing into the future, yeah, but huh? by mistakenly seeing the future and not realizing it to, all of a sudden she's a pro midway through the movie, and there's no, uh-huh. there's no training aspect. Like we saw Spider-Man, you know, he touched the wall and he started trying to climb and yeah. everything. So no, the other was... thing I heard is the, with the Spider-Girls, pretty much everything we saw in the trailer was what you saw them in their outfits. Like they really, oh. they, they really weren't in their outfits. <laughs> this you might be a spoiler, yeah. but I, I think everybody knows because I didn't see it and I heard this already. I mean, but if it's a spoiler, then I'm sorry. But yeah, you saw the movie in the trailer. Of, of them. Of them. So they pretty much so they pretty much showed you the best part so that you'll go see the movie. But I didn't fall for it. I didn't fall for it. <laughs> I fell for it. But so Well, I knew it was gonna be bad, but I didn't know it was gonna be like that. Yeah, and then I heard again, I I might be spoiling it, but I also heard that they uh so they didn't they weren't dressed up and using their powers to defeat the bad guy. They did some like home alone stuff. Bro, what to powers? Defeat. <laughs> <laughs> what well, exactly, but they did like some Home Alone stuff to defeat the the bad guy. I heard. Uh, kind of. Well, <laughs> being, I'm not gonna spoil it, but it was just uh, it was um, it was an adventure and one that I don't want to repeat. Oh. <laughs> but um, other than that, what other movie did you see? Any movie on recently? I mean, I haven't seen anything recently. I'm, I'm trying to think of what other Marvel things are going on. That are crazy. Oh, uh, Superman, Mr. Henry Cavill, apparently took a secret role what in the MCU. MCU. Yo, hold on, I gotta put down my beard. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say Captain Britain. Captain Britain? I, oh, I, I saw like a teaser. It me, has to be. He's like so huge. I can't trust the internet nowadays because everything is AI generated. Oh, well, no, but I'm saying, but that's who he wanted to be. That's who he's been saying, like, if he was gonna be in the Marvel Universe, who he wants to be. I heard Doctor Doom is a possibility. That'd he, be pretty cool, too, saw, actually. Uh, He'd be a good Doctor yeah, Doom. Yeah, yeah, he's like, uh, 
him and somebody else, I forgot his name. Tully would probably know if he was here, he would name drop it, but he's in Mexico, so it is what it is. <laughs> but um, <laughs> um, I, I think he would do a solid Dr. Doom. He would do a solid Dr. Doom now. Because, I mean, it. like, he was in uh, 007. I forgot what the name was. Again, T Butt. Wasn't he double? And wasn't he in uh, the Mission Impossible as well? He was in one of the Mission Impossible movies where he fought Tom Cruise. I remember that. Yeah. See, see, this is where we need Tully because he can tell. Yeah, us you're exactly probably right. That. You're probably right. But yeah, but he was yeah. in one of the Mission. But yeah, but I can definitely see him, and he was a great Superman, as we talked about in one Damn, of our DC, man. Yeah, yeah, they messed up. They messed, messed up losing him. Y'all messed the hell up, man. Like, how do you how do you do that? Like, he literally is Clark Kent. <laughs> But you drop the one good thing that you had going on. I mean, respect to Wonder Woman and Aquaman, they were all right. But Aquaman too, that was another holy. Crap yeah, I think movie. it's. I, I think DC does good casting. Like he was a great Aquaman, uh, Jason Momoa. Yeah. But they did a bad movie. Same thing with uh, this chick as Harley Quinn. Uh, Amazing as Harley Quinn, like she is Harley Robbie. Quinn. Yeah. yeah. Wow, look at you. Congrats. <laughs> Take that, totally. but but uh, <laughs> but Margot Robbie was a great Harley Quinn, and I think she should always be Harley Quinn. They've just been giving her bad movies, <laughs> so I, they got to But hopefully, with the, all the new uh, stuff and direction they're going, it'll turn out good. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I mean, they're leaving it to uh, what's his name? God damn it, oh uh, man, yeah, uh, something gun. James Gunn. James Gunn. Yes. There you go. James Gunn's <laughs> doing the whole DC yeah. universe now. So we'll see. I mean, I heard rumors that it's going to go into Teenage Superman. Like I mean, hey, he yeah. did uh, He did Guardians of the Galaxy, so we'll, we'll see what, what's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not lining up to see DC movies. I'll tell yeah. You that much. I mean, well, as for uh, also Marvel news, as you know, me and David don't sport, but we did watch the Super Bowl so we could watch trailers. Yes. I'm there for the commercials, even though now they, <laughs> they technically show the commercials ahead of time. But they yeah. have some pretty damn good commercials. And that game was actually the first, and I hate I'm sorry. Yeah, I must say that was one of the most entertaining sporting events I've ever seen. I actually watched the entire game for the first time in my life. And that, I never thought the day would come, but yeah. that was this year, 2024. I watched a, a first full game and I was really into it and I can talk about the plays and everything. I feel confident about it. Like, I know some of the players. Well, don't be too out. confident because then no, the no, comments no, no, no. will go really no, bad. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't ask me anything. Don't DM me anything. I'm going to act stupid. <laughs> but as for Marvel, the Deadpool trailer, we got our first look at Deadpool. Yes. How do we feel about that? I think that's what Marvel needed to come back to life. Because honestly, and I get where the hate was, you know, MCU was kind of, it was derailing a little bit, right? But I say, you know, really a little bit, a lot bit. So it had like four, mm. three or four movies that <laughs> were question, questionable. They were going in a direction that a lot of people are, are you know, it, it's, it's a hot. A directionless <laughs> direction because. It's a hot button, button topic, but yes, they were going in a there direction. There was not re right. a real direction, let's face no. it. it. It was kind of confusing. Some stuff that happened prior didn't happen anymore mm. or. I don't know. It was just. Well, kind of also, funny. me and Crystal were talking about this. Like, we were watching the. Mar I finally watched the Marvels because it went on Disney Plus. Because I wasn't going to go to the theater to watch it, but we were saying we were like, wow, like the way the action and the graphics look in this compared to like Captain America: Winter Soldier, like it looks so different. Like it doesn't look the same as they used to. Like they looked, they were so serious the old movies, and then now they're like kind of just like. I mean, some. I mean, I I might be in like the you know, I think some of the action was entertaining. In the yeah, some of the uh, action was entertaining. Both I the teleporting sequences. And yeah, stuff. yeah. I also, I, cool. I also like this chick as Miss Marvel, this the the girl who plays her because she's like very about Marvel and she likes it. Oh yeah, and, and you know, fun fact, I for, forgot her name, man, but uh, that was her first. This is her first acting role. Yeah, yeah, that was first acting role, which is respect, man. And on top of that, because she's such a big fan, she actually got to write. Uh, her own couple issues of Miss Marvel. Really? Yeah, I actually yeah, yeah, that. yeah. She's, like, she's with Marvel writing now. Yeah, yeah, too, so, yeah. So it pays off being a fan. But we totally got off topic. Deadpool. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. How did that happen? <laughs> we would do that with D-Rail. Yeah, Deadpool was freaking... I mean, the trailer looks amazing. It, won a, it got a record viewing. Like, yeah, uh, because, it, what is it because everyone's hoping for this to save Marvel. But, I mean, they didn't... No, it will. They sense. didn't show a lot, but from what they showed was... Awesome! It's gonna be amazing. I mean, God, man, that, I, it's such a treat. I, I think the only cameo we got was a pyro was in it from yeah. X Men, 
And, I mean, if that's, I'm guessing that's who he's going to be. That has to be that it's Pyro came back. I mean, you never know now. <laughs> and they showed the Wolverine from the comic book. Remember the, the, the old cover with him and Hulk in the suck suit? Yes. And they showed the white suit, uh, eye patch Wolverine from the back. But, you know, a lot of people are saying that that's going to be a different variant of Wolverine and it's going to be uh, the kid who played Harry Potter. The kid that played Harry Potter. Yeah. Uh, oh, the main kid. Yeah. Uh, what's his, I, mean, I, I said the main kid. Like, there's another variant. Uh, his Harry name Potter. is Daniel Radcliffe. Okay, Daniel Radcliffe. Okay, yeah. But they're saying that he's going to be a Wolverine variant, which which might be funny. That would be funny as shit. Because he kind of looks but it. He, 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 he looks it. He actually did get ripped at a point. I don't yeah, know yeah. why. I guess this makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll see. And I saw an image of him being ripped. I was like, oh, shit. The yeah, magic, so the magic stuff really worked. <laughs> and uh, last for Marvel, they've been casting for Fantastic Four. Yes, they just revealed that. Yeah, actually. yeah they, so we they got revealed the whole cast. So you got Pedro Pascal is going to be uh, fucking fr- freaking Mr. Fantastic, which I was kind of mad they weren't going to use. What's his name? Who? Cool. Uh, the guy who was in the Office. No, uh, Jim? yeah, 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 Jim. Jim Helper? Yeah. Because I, I, John Krasinski. Yeah, John Krasinski. Man, yeah. you're on it today. Yo, I, I got to make I gotta make yeah, up for Damon's on it, bro. Yo, I, I'm flexing right here, T-Bug. I That's got crazy. this. crazy. <laughs> yeah, but I, I was kind of mad it wasn't him because he was did so well, and he, he 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 looks like Mr. Fantastic. But when they said Pedro Pascal, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, that works. I mean, the, the guy is good at everything. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> every role. Now he the guy's going to be uh, Joel in The Last of Us. He's yes. the Mandalorian, and now he's going to be Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of fucking crazy. And did you hear? He's funny as shit. What did he was you, on SNL. Yeah, like, but did you hear who shit. they're gonna get to play uh, uh, the uh, uh, freaking Johnny the Human Torch? Who was it? From Stranger Things. Uh, yes, Eddie. yes, yes. That's gonna be that's fun. Great. That was a great cast. Yeah, there. yeah, that's gonna be fun, man. And uh, yeah, dude, everybody they cast him for that. Uh, I t- I don't remember the actors' names, but it's uh, the guy from the Bear, the show The Bear, is going to be the thing. Yes. And uh, the girl that was in Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> I'm like totally just naming movies. <laughs> oh, I know who you're yeah. talking about though. We'll, we'll, we'll put the name somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Tim T. Budge. <laughs> but that whole casting seems fucking amazing too. No, I solid. Some people weren't that excited. About I was. That. I thought that was great. That whole casting, I was like, yeah, yeah that, that's solid, perfect. Solid casting, well needed, and I really, if if they can't make Fantastic Four with that casting, good, that'll be. I mean, that's it. Then that means it's just. Yeah. Well, I think everything's kind of running on Deadpool right now, so we'll see how that goes. Well, yeah, but Fantastic Four, I'm excited for. I mean, Doctor Doom, I'm excited for too. Yeah. Right, whoever the whoever well, they well, and it also seems like they're steering away from Kang because of the whole. Uh, well, they they said they're looking for a, a replacement. There's a couple prospects. Well, that is the cool thing about the whole multiverse. They could find another actor. Mm-hmm. I heard that they wanted uh, Denzel Washington. That'd be fucking crazy. Denzel <laughs> Washington is <laughs> Kang. <laughs> I would just want him to speak to me. <laughs> like <laughs> such an intriguing character, uh, but. Other than, I mean, Marvel, right? Superhero movies obviously are great. Star um, Wars I don't even want to talk about. Star Wars? What's that? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know the loves... No, dude, listen. Coming from me, look. 501st member, 10 years. They know how much I love Star Wars. Yeah. I don't even want nothing to do with Star Wars right now. It's it's it, it, it's horrible. I teach you. Listen. See, <laughs> so you can hear cameraman Johnny in the back there. No, it, he, it's, he's like shocked right it now. It is right? horrible now. They they need to. I don't know what they need to do. They need to get rid of Kathleen Kennedy, just like they said in the South Park specials. You know, she's trying to make everything lame and gay with a girl. <laughs> and that's pretty wow, much just get us canceled now. <laughs> I mean, it seemed like everybody liked that. Episode. Lame gay doesn't mean lame. Just so you know, that was just he's trying to get us canceled. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, um, but, but yeah, but they, yeah, they, they they really need to do something. I don't know. They're, I think. I was, I, there's another thing I was talking about with Crystal yesterday. I have a lot of nerd talks with my girl lately, which has been weird. But, uh... That's hot, though. Uh, I think what they... The only thing that can save them now is if they let, uh... John Favreau direct a movie, but they somehow talk George Lucas into coming back and writing and saying, listen, you can do whatever you want, retcon whatever you need to, and I think that would get everybody back on board. But I, I, the chances of him doing that are... Slim to none. <laughs> Unless he's really unhappy with what they did and he's like, I, I gotta fix it. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, man. Disney, Disney's 
Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, they're messing up, and they're, they're, they're two properties that are failing the most are Star Wars and Marvel, which is what you would think would be the two biggest things they got. But yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what uh, movie I am looking forward to, aside from you know Marvel stuff, mm. right? Uh, Dune. Dune. 2. Oh, Dune. Yeah, Dune one was great. God, man, that's gonna be fantastic. Yeah. Like, Dune looks really promising. I'm excited for it. Uh, they're actually doing a 70 millimeter IMAX at uh, in the city. Uh, I don't know if you knew that. I forgot. I forgot the the, the ad where where it's playing, but it's only in one theater in New York. Is it in the one on seventy something on the west side? They have the big IMAX there. They usually do that. Probably. Uh, my sense of direction is terrible. Yeah. You could be right. But anywho, I already have my ticket for that. I definitely need to see that. Uh, I'm excited for that. Um, and they're re-releasing uh, Tenet in theaters for like two days. Really? Yeah. Seventy millimeter, seventy millimeter IMAX. I was shocked. Um, Excited to see that because I still feel like to this day I don't fully understand that. Movie. I still don't fully understand that. Movie, <laughs> I don't no. think any, no. I feel like you have to have some kind of degree to. Yeah, like I think you need to that watch movie. that a couple times. But yeah. yeah, no, no, yeah, but uh, that I'm I'm excited to rewatch that. Um, what other movie? Is there anything going on in the horror world? Oh, Ghostbusters. Oh, that's right. Well, that's not horror, but no, but no, I'm just I'm just thinking. But Ghostbusters, yeah, dude, that, that Ghostbusters trailer looks amazing. Ghostbusters for the Empire. They finally see this is what Disney needs to follow whatever they're doing. They found a way. It feels like the old Ghostbusters movies. They've got the all the old cast back while they're also introducing a new cast, and it doesn't seem forced upon or or hokey or yeah. like cheesy. It looks amazing. Nostalgic as hell. Yes. Too. Like when I saw that trailer, I was like, wow, I feel like I'm watching the original Ghostbusters. But yeah, that that's gonna be a good one when that comes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. What about shows? Are you are you watching any shows lately or? I, honestly, I know I'm late to the game, but I just watched The Bear. I'm even later to the game because I haven't watched it. Dude, you gotta watch The Bear. Why I, do I do have watch, to watch it? Tell me about The Bear. Because I, I I keep hearing about it, but I keep like kind of. If you uh, ever seen the movie Good Times, and you guys know, or the movie uh, with uh, Sandler, uh, the Uncut Gems. Remember how stressed you guys were when you saw that movie? Think of that every episode in a kitchen. So you're telling me I'm going to get gray hair. In you are going to get so much gray hairs, but it's so good. I'm telling you, yeah, The Bear is a great show. There's a reason it won so many awards this past year. I didn't even see. I didn't even know that. Yeah, oh, like I think everybody in that cast won like crazy awards for The Bear, like Emmys and stuff like that, huh. and Golden Globes. Interesting. I've been watching uh, on Netflix. You ever heard of uh, Louder Milk? No, I've been seeing the the ad for that, but I've just been yeah. Because apparently there's like three seasons worth. I didn't know it was out this long ago, and it's actually really good, man. I would definitely. What is that even about? It's uh so this it's about this guy. He uh he he had he was an alcoholic, Mm -hmm. right? And um he had got into a car accident with his girlfriend or wife at the yeah wife at the Mm -hmm. time, and it was bad, and she lost her leg because of that accident, and he went through a traumatic experience. And he decided to give up alcohol because of that. And uh, he decided he wants to help other people get okay. like, alcohol. So he has this little uh, AA meeting. No, like a group, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the group meetings. And he uh, helps other people. But it's kind of like a, like, a, like a comedy drama kind of thing. Okay. So it's funny because he's like a bummer. He seems like he's always like hungover or something. Like he's very blunt, kind of like we could be dry humored. Oh yeah, yeah. But uh, I think it's really good, and it, you know, it sheds light on real problems. You know, like people that really have alcohol problems. I think it's, I think it's pretty, uh, pretty crazy. But definitely recommend that show. Not a show, but totally off topic. It came out yesterday. I haven't seen it yet, or whenever yesterday this comes. Up, well, because we. Yeah. Well, yeah, whatever. As we're recording this, the yesterday of... The 17th. 17th yes. Yeah, okay. But on uh, Peacock, they came out with uh, the documentary of uh, the lady who shot Selena, and now she's going to give her side really? of the story. And people are pissed off because they're making... And she's like... And, and, and the whole trailer is her like, I'm going to tell you the real story of what happened. Selena had some secrets and stuff, and now everyone's like... Which Selena off. are we talking about just so we're on the same uh, page? Uh, Selena, the singer Selena, who everybody loves. Uh, just because I mean today's pop go- today's generation uh, Selena Gomez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm no, just saying the Selena. Yes. <laughs> so uh, I, I think I think a lot of people are angry about it, but I'm curious to see what this lady has to say. And she, she's still in jail, but she's apparently she's saying Selena. Wait, how old is she? 
I thought she was. I, I no, nah, that wasn't. I that. kid you not. I thought she was dead. When did that happen? Th- that <laughs> I thought she th- was that dead. wasn't that long ago. <laughs> I thought she was dead. I, I don't know. It feels that. You know when I first saw the Selena movie when I was a kid? Did you think J Lo was Selena? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. The reason I'm saying I thought, this, I thought she legit died in the film. <laughs> like I thought it was real. As no, hell. I can't. I lie. wanted to get a candle out like everybody in the movie. <laughs> And I was sobbing. I was so sad. I can't I was lie. Like, how, how, how did they film her actual death? I was freaking <laughs> oblivious as a kid. I can't lie. I thought the same thing when I was a kid. That's why I asked him that question. <laughs> and then I saw her performing. And I'm like, you freaking phony. <laughs> what the hell? I thought you were dead. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought the same thing when Joe did. <laughs> I really <laughs> thought she was Selena. <laughs> <laughs> the movie was very real. Oh, well, it's good. It's a good movie. <laughs> it's still a really good movie. I want to rewatch it, but I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, video games. <laughs> yeah, something more important. Well, let's switch the subject. Video games. Okay. So, what's been going on with video games? Have you been playing? Persona 3. That's all I've been playing. Ah. Persona 3 Reload. As you know, they redid uh, Persona 3. That came out on PlayStation 2. They totally redid it in the style of Persona 5. Updated all the characters, updated everything. It, it, it's, it's amazing. It, it's got to be the RPG, well, the JRPG of the year. Yeah. I, for sure. I still have to get into it, man. Yeah, I yeah. have Persona 5. I mean, it, 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 it's hard to get into because you need time. It's like a 100-plus hour game. That's exactly the problem I'm having because what I'm telling you, you pay, what was it, 176 well, hours? Well, I must like say that? Persona 5 Royal, and I know this is bad to say that it was the only thing I was happy about the pandemic. Persona 5 Royal came to my house two weeks after the shutdown. And this is when we were still, didn't know if we can go outside or how bad was it. So we were inside and I was like, well, I can live this ultra life now in this video game because I got nothing else to do. So I was able to sit through a hundred and something hours because I had nothing else to do. Yeah. But if that came out without the pandemic, like right now I'm struggling to get through Persona 3 Reload because I don't have the time. But yeah, it's definitely one of those games that you, you need a lot, a lot of time. Uh, no, but I hear it's good. I hear it's no, great. it's there's great. There's diehards like you that I've met that I'm just like, yeah. and they're always shocked when they hear that I've never played Yeah, it dude, the I collector's edition was crazy. They even they even went as far as re-recording uh, the music hmm. and making it more uh, to this time, you know? Yeah. Which is cool. Uh, talking about JRPGs, we got Final Fantasy VII oh, Rebirth. I was just thinking about that. You get, get out of my head. Man, I am so excited for that. I am pissed at myself because I missed out on the collectors. Yeah, oh, the one with the Seth Ross statue? Yeah, man, because it looks so good. But really? I, you missed that? Man. No, because I kept saying, it's going to be there. It's going to well, be there. Well, you know what? Don't don't worry yet. Because they might have a restock. Yes. But I'm going to have, like, am I really going to buy, because I, I don't want to wait. Like, I don't want to, I want to get the game to play it day one. Just so you know, I did the same mistake you did, and I'm waiting, because I know. That's what happened to me with Zelda. And I waited to the day that it released, and then they restocked the collector's edition. So yeah, I'm no, that's because I, I know resellers like to freaking try to sell, and they're like, "Oh, damn, I didn't sell it. Let me return it." Mm-hmm. And they cancel their pre-orders, and I get that, but I want to play it the day off, man. And I, I feel like I'm gonna end up buying it twice, and I'm gonna be upset if I no, do. No, see, I will wait. <laughs> I will wait because that this is I, oh, there's a lot. Like I usually get like the steel book edition, and Dave will always get the big collector's edition. Yeah. The only time I get the big collector's edition is like Persona, but. This one, I, I, I do want that Seth Ross statue. Yes. I, I think it's going to be great. Uh, how many parts are there going to be for this? Anyway, this well, there was two. There's uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Rebirth, technically the second. They did yeah. the DLC yeah. uh, for the first one. And they did uh, that kind of mid game uh, Final Fantasy. Uh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can't think of the name, but yeah, a crisis. No, what was no. it? No, something. Are you going to say Crisis Core? No, yeah, I forget. <laughs> My brain's thinking that, but yeah, but they did that other yeah, yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't wait for that. Uh, also, Tekken came out a new Tekken. Tekken. I haven't bought it yet. Yeah, I haven't. I was gonna buy it over the weekend, but me I too. I keep time. saying I'm, I'm gonna buy it again. Just having that time, and even if I bought it, it would just be sitting there in the plastic. But I still got mad games at home sitting in the plastic. <sighs> again, the only thing. Pres- Adult life, man. Let's talk about nerdy over thirty. Oh man, if you have like a full time job and are very responsible. And don't have it good, have it made for you. It's hard to freaking game and be up to date, man. <laughs> At yeah, least for us. Anyway. Well, bravo to you guys if you can do it. It's fucking. It's free. Yeah. Hard, well, man. the good thing is we're up to date. Like we have the games. We just don't play them. <laughs> oh, so did you ever get your uh, PlayStation Portal? I did. How do you like it? I played it twice. 
Nice. See, same thing. <laughs> so I got the PlayStation Portal. If you guys don't know, it's the handheld that you can use almost kind of like a switch to your uh, PlayStation while you're at home. So I thought this would be a great way that I could, you know, because I'm tired, I can get into bed and play a video game. Yeah. I'm still too tired to do that. Like, I would think, like, like good, I can bring it to bed with me, I can play and all that stuff. No, still tired. Dude, I thought I got the PlayStation Portable because, like, sometimes, you know, my daughter wants to watch a show or something, mm-hmm. or I just, yeah, so I, I have, have, I have yeah. like, I have The Office playing on TV, like the show The Office, and I just, I don't want to, I want to keep watching The Office, but I want to maybe play mm-hmm. at the same time. I know that's, like, overdoing it, but sometimes I don't want to turn on my actual console, so yeah, I, I thought yeah. I, but now I'm just looking at it on top of my PlayStation 5, and I'm like, do I really want to get up and go turn it on and yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. have to put my system in rest mode and again. that's what work does yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah like right now I'm playing um, it's crazy to say I haven't beat Ragnarok yet God of War Ragnarok I, I still haven't played it at all you're crazy man. I did have that the game is fantastic and I'm kind of upset at myself for not beating it yet but time mm-hmm. is freaking difficult but I'm loving it it's a great game and then The Last of Us 2 uh, they just did uh, the, oh, remake. the remake. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> the re- but why? Why? <laughs> the remake is so pointless. Just to show off more sweat marks and stuff. I don't know. Right. But, well, uh, they did the online mode now, which people oh, want. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I need to get into that. I want to play it before the new show, the new season of uh-huh, uh-huh. Last of Us comes out because I'm sure they're going to dive deep into that. Yeah, um, for sure. And then what was the? There was a game that before we started filming. Oh yeah, so there's this game coming out that's causing a big stir called Stellar Blade. Uh, it's kind of like a JRP. Think of like Final, the new Final Fantasy like seven. What's it called? Stellar. It's called Stellar Blade. Stellar Blade. So think of uh, that of Final Fantasy kind of meets like uh, 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 something like that. Yeah, it's like kind of those like open world JRPG where you can fight. It's not turn based. It's not turn based. Yeah. Okay. But the thing is, the main character, this is a Korean company that's making it. Game looks phenomenal. Gameplay, amazing. If you haven't seen the trailer, David, you got to go watch the trailer I for that. Seen the, trailer. the drama that's been going on with this game is the main character is this hot girl. <laughs> she looks kind of young. Sounds like your lane. <laughs> Definitely my lane. <laughs> of course, they made her, you know, very tight outfits. It reminds you, do you remember, like, when we were younger, how the games were always all like that? And it's kind of like our era that we came from, like all the Japanese games, like all tight clothes, the jiggle physics, you know? Yeah. Which, yeah. which, Vir- uh, what was it, Virtual Fighter? Yeah, or, or even the old Tekkens or even stuff like the that. Old Tekkens, yeah. Basically, with a lot of the state of our uh, culture now, they've taken a lot of that stuff out. Like Mortal Kombat, the girls have gotten a lot more tame. All that stuff, they're making not so pretty anymore in games. Well, it's, but in anime, that's. Not yeah, yeah. Games. Well, <laughs> this Korean company was like, F that. And yeah, uh, Jiggle Physics, all that fun stuff. But the game looks great, that too. But of course, there's a lot of backlash because people are saying, oh, well, oh, you're making her too hot. You're focusing too much on her, her body and, you know, how everybody gets. And the uh, guy who made the game uh, made a statement saying, uh, when I play a game, I don't want to see. Uh, uh, a normal looking girl, I want to see somebody extraordinary and you're pretty much saying, I don't Maybe care what you think. That, that could go both ways. Like, it can be a male or a female. Well, that well that's what I'm saying. Well, that's what I was saying. Like, that's how I feel about Batman. I don't want to see a skinny, fat Batman. My Batman, I want to be a buff dude. A realistic looking Batman. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, when you're playing video games, you're playing a video game to get out of reality. 100%. So, of course, I, I, I want to see pretty women that are strong. I want to see buffed out guys that I'll never be buff like. But you know, today's generation is like, who are you to say what's pretty and what's not? Well, <laughs> and, well anyway, they're getting a lot of backlash, but he keeps doubling down uh, the creators of the game. He even said, uh, you know, he's like, yeah, of course I made her backside look nice because you're going to be looking at it the whole time because it's a uh, third person view. So, <laughs> of course I made her butt look good. So, yeah, but I think this game is going to save games like that, and hopefully, you know, we're slowly getting back to where we were. I mean, does the story look good? That's the really story good. looks great. Gameplay, I'm telling you, you're going to go, you're going to go pre-order the game when you go. Not based on the looks. No, no, not based <laughs> on the looks at all. Like, just gameplay alone. Game looks amazing. It's just the plus. I'll look it up. I'll look it up. But, like I said, I, I think we're getting out of that climate anyway. I think also, like, the TED TV show. Oh, 
Dude, that, that show was freaking great. Did you see the TED TV show? No, not yet. Uh, Bro. P- producer John hasn't seen it yet. Bro. All right. They, I didn't think, it, it, it's better than the movies. It, no, I, come on. it is better than the movies. No, take it easy. Let's, uh, we can edit that out, right, John? <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> but um, the movie to me is still, to me, oh, that's right. it, it, no, this is good. And that's okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> but to say it's better than the movie, it's kind of insane. I was worried because I was like, how are they going to do this again in today's climate where everything's canceled and Ted... Well, listen, you, McFarlane doesn't give a shit. Well, that's true. But today. but you can, uh, but in my head, I'm like, you can't make the Ted movies now, let alone put it on TV. No, they did. <laughs> they didn't give a shit. You think the jokes were wild in, in the Ted movies? They're even wilder. Yeah, no, man. I, the first episode, I was like, uh, maybe, like the first 15 minutes, I was like, okay. And then after that, it just freaking no. skyrocketed. Yeah, like there's you this. Like, but you have to like that kind of humor. Yeah, 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 like yeah. Like, yeah, like there's this uh, one uh, joke where uh, they're at church and the priest is talking about uh, how, you know, Jesus was born from a miracle and all this stuff. And then Ted's in the audience and he's like, well, I was born from a miracle. He's like, maybe I'm Jesus. And pretty <laughs> yeah. much, yeah. I remember yeah, that. That yeah. was actually really funny. And it's, it's this whole thing. But yeah, but you can see where we're going with this. <laughs> he's like talking there. Yeah, he's, he's like, uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody seems to like already accept that he's like. Yeah, like no one cares. Like me, I'd be like, yeah, probably, brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Ted is a good show that I feel like it's, it's uh, what's the word I'm looking for when something's popular but not really, uh, not. You lost me. It'll come to me. All right. Well, then, yeah. <laughs> it's a good show. Yeah. All right. But uh, next topic, music. How do you feel about music today? It sucks. <laughs> it sucks. Boo. No, uh, so I, when I was younger, and I, you know, when you hear your parents go, oh, this music today, it's horrible. Uh, they don't make you music like they used to. And we're like, what do you Where mean? Like, this, this is the most amazing stuff ever. <laughs> well, now that I'm older... <laughs> I have realized I do the same thing now. I listen to all the younger generation's music, and I go, what the hell is this crap? <laughs> and I and then we just wind up listening to all our old music. Or oh, or if our old bands make new music, we'll listen to that. But otherwise, yeah, getting into new stuff's hard. I mean, some of the old bands I don't. I told you that when you were five, all right? <laughs> exactly. Well, you see? T- so... That's why he's nerdy over however old he is, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Producer John's age is... <laughs> <laughs> we'll uh, we'll we'll uh, keep it on the wraps, but you know, it, it's definitely over thirties. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I mean, not every band has been that we liked from back then has released good music, though. No, not, not lately. No, not really. Uh, very few. Uh, I think. Uh, like, didn't who, who who released an album recently uh, that was bad though? Uh, uh, freaking! I think it's Bring Me the Horizons keeps putting out good stuff. Yeah, no, but. There was a uh, band. Incubus? I'm not sure. I know they've been doing stuff. I didn't know they put out a new album. I thought they did something new, like a new track or something. I, well, also because I think they're also trying to get new audience from this generation, so they're trying the new stuff. Okay. Just, 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 just stick to what you know. Papa Roach is completely different from back then. Oh, yeah. Horrible. Oh, boy. I don't know what happened there. But <laughs> I, yeah. I mean, whatever. Well, I've totally, I mean, you know what I listen to now. I've totally went to, like, because of, I think music's so bad, I've went, now Now I listen to, like, a lot of synthwave and weird music, like uh, Chino from the Deftones, as you know, he'd make the band Crosses. Which he's wearing. And me and uh, producer Johnny went to go see, a, what, like, two months ago now? We saw Crosses? Mm-hmm. But, yeah, so we're listening to like, a lot of that stuff. Uh, Gunship, as, you know, I always talk about Gunship. Uh, this group called Lastlings. I've just, I've gone to find different music at other places because popular music is trash. Yeah, while well, you've been looking for music, I've been uh, listening to Audibles. I'm very <laughs> adult. I am very adult now. So, like, right now I'm listening to uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's new uh, Audible. Oh, how is that? I heard that one was it's good. really good because... <laughs> Surprising as it is, it's gonna sound kind of fun. He reads his own bu- Audible, his own nice. books. 
Like it's his I voice. love it when they do that. Dude, but I love it. Like I didn't think he was gonna talk the whole time. I thought he was gonna introduce it, but he kept talking. I'm like, yeah, Arnold <laughs> owned that accent. And but it was really good. Well, I watched his documentary on uh, on Netflix, and he's dude, he's a crazy businessman. Dude, he's. I he's did not know. You think he's just muscle, Arnold, dude? Like he he got into real estate. Like he knew how. That's why he's so rich now. That's such a hungry and respected. Yeah, guy, man, Arnold, man. Like I found out, he made more money off the movie Twins with Danny yep. DeVito yep. than he did from uh, the Terminator movies, because instead of him getting a paycheck for Twins, he said, "No, I want uh, a piece of all of of the movie. Like when you sell it afterwards, like from the uh, sales of VHS and they stuff also, like that." They also didn't spend money on the movie, yeah. really. <laughs> so just, he's still making like, money off that movie. Yeah, no, he's good, man. They're, they're, Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger, they're not, they're not worth Yeah, well, basically Arnold Schwarzenegger has proved that whatever you dream of doing, you can do. He's like, I want to be a movie star, I'll be a movie star. I want to be the strongest man in the world, be the strongest He's man in the world. He's such an inspiration, man. Be a governor? Uh, yeah. <laughs> he commits to things. It's crazy. Like, like he he, he took, uh, what's the, speech cl- speech classes and mm-hmm. stuff. Like, he, just to be able to speak more fluently, like advice. Uh, for, for Terminator, he... Oh, to, to bring a Terminator one. That's why he doesn't talk at all. <laughs> yeah, and he's barely in the movie. If you really think about it, like, yeah. I think what is it, eighteen minutes or something? Like, yeah. No, some 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 very low amount. But it seemed it, he his presence was so strong that you think you're he's in there the whole yeah, yeah, yeah. time. And then they go from that to Terminator two, where he's like talking all the time. Yeah, and, yeah. respected actor, man. That, that's one of like one of the greats. Yeah, man. But, yeah, I mean, um, what else is going on? <laughs> Shit. I don't know, man. <laughs> That's pretty. You lost me there. Uh, uh, oh, you got any new toys lately? Uh, I kind of have no space, and I guess that's why I I, I hesitated on the Final Fantasy yeah. Collector's Edition. Because if you uh, if if you do watch his uh, the Davis Collector's Volts episodes and you see where does he put all this stuff, uh, producer Johnny can tell you he has no clue where David puts any of this stuff. I make space, and I'm at this po- this point where. I- I don't know if I can keep making space. It's Listen, I, I don't know how his girl doesn't kick him out or like throw the boxes out the window when they come at this point. What can you say? I'm a lovable guy. I right? know. I, I don't think so because she. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Listen, whenever he gets a new box, he calls us and goes, "Listen, can you guys come and do this now? Because I need to get this box out the living room." <laughs> But no, I think, I, I, think, I think I'm pretty much kind of done for a while anyway, so, unless I sell some stuff, which yeah. is very difficult for me to do. Yes, I know. And that too, whenever we've done like selling things that we've done with, uh, with uh, the Thrift Shop, shout out to Justin and uh, the Third Eye Throwbacks uh, Thrift Shop. But uh, to get him to sell anything, it's like you have to talk him into it the, the morning of. <laughs> yes, yes. But... Um, yeah, uh, random about current events, like things going on. I was just on like social media, and you know, so- social media is like full of a plethora of random shit. Mm-hmm. Some of it you don't even know if to believe or not, or some a lot of it is inappropriate, obviously. Mm-hmm. But I saw someone posted uh, supposedly. <laughs> you know how some people like to uh, ride trains, like literally on top. Oh, like, train. I think I know what you're talking about. What am I talking about? I saw this photo. Uh, <laughs> So oh, right. there's it's it's been a thing in New York of kids subway surfing, <laughs> yeah. where they climb on top of the trains, very dangerous. Don't ever do this. <laughs> yeah. And they're on top of the trains while the trains are moving. It's called subway surfing. Well, oh, boy. these two people took it to another level. Oh, another level. And there was subway surfing coitus. Two men getting it in. Yes, on top of the train. Pants down and everything, man. It was a uh, yeah. It, it was kind of. And there was somebody. They had a separate person filming it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably so, look it up on Pornhub. It's probably on there if you're into that. Yeah. But, so, so yeah, <laughs> these two men were surfing on top of the train in New York, and getting it on. Oh boy, man! That, that crazy so, yeah, stuff, yeah, though. So, <laughs> only in New York. <laughs> yeah. No, absolutely only in New York, unfortunately. But yeah. uh, I just felt like I needed to bring that up because that kind of like. I was just like, what the hell am I seeing? No, no, no. I, I thought I've seen everything in the city. And when I saw that photo, I was like, yep, they, they always find a way to top themselves. Yeah, man. 
But anywho, I just wanted to mention that. I, I think that's pretty much. I, I think that's pretty much ended our podcast today. <laughs> that's how we're gonna end the think, podcast. Yeah. <laughs> my train of thought kind of derailed with that. And now all I see is freaking man's ass cheeks in my head. That's great. Which is kind of weird to, right this, now. This, 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 is, this is a. Uh, it's a good way to end it. <laughs> Unless you want to bring something up, I don't know. I listen. You kind of lost track with me now. I, that's all I can picture in my head now that you. This I actually well. forgot about it until you brought it back up. No, this is what I'm thinking about uh, right now. Uh, in a non-gay way, because it's very uncomfortable. For me. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> thank you for watching another episode of Nerdy Over Thirty. Uh, as always, please like, subscribe. Uh, if you want to hear more about, uh, you know, subway surfing coitus. And, uh, and yeah, may the force be with you. Peace out, guys. Stay nerdy. <laughs>